Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to teach you how to use HubSpot for email marketing and how we can create email marketing campaigns using HubSpot. So let's get started first. Simply go to HubSpot.com and you will be directed to this platform. We can build a CRM with HubSpot. We have our own sales dashboard and we also get our own email marketing. To start with HubSpot, you can simply click on this link right here which says get a free CRM Hub HubSpot, create a Google account with HubSpot or add your first last name and email address. That's it, you can get started with the free version. Simply go ahead and sign in to your HubSpot account after the initial set sign up. This is the main dashboard that we get on HubSpot. So you can see we have different dashboards that we can actually access. We have contact conversations, marketing, sales services, automation, and reports. So in marketing, we can find the email. Creating an email marketing campaign is one of the main goals of this tutorial. So we will simply do it here. Once you get to email marketing, you will see all of your previous campaigns and emails you have created. To create a new one, you will find the option right here. As a result, we are able to select from hundreds of different templates HubSpot has for us and we can choose from different hundreds of templates such as welcome, simple promotion, plain email and newsletter. So let's create a welcome email or maybe we can create it in plain email since the editor is the same for all of these. As you can see we have our main editor here in which we will be able to create our new email. now. The first thing is of course to give it a name let's call it for now test email after that you can create you can see we have the preview and right here whenever i hover i get these boxes that i can edit then we have our content and design from there i can add different contents to my emails in addition we can also customize the designs such as buttons dividers and texts are and text styles so the first thing is really the company logo which is not what I want to add but you can upload any logo right here your own company logo that you created or you can simply remove it I will click on replace and then you will be able to insert an image that you have added to HubSpot For now, I'm going to let it be because we are just making a test email. Then we have this main content here. So we have this text right here and you can see I can edit that as well. You can choose from your folders and you can also design a logo directly with canvas. We have the canvas integration in HubSpot. You can simply delete the existing text and then type in your own text. Of course, we can edit the font and everything else. We can make it bold if you want to. We have different fonts to choose from. We have different styles and alignments. As you can see, we can also go ahead and edit this section with this option right here. And it will allow me to change the bottom spacing, top spacing, background type, color. If you want to change the color, you can simply change it using this option. And we can also add different contents to our email. As you can see, we have just text right now. Now I want to add an image. All I have to do is drag the image option and drop it wherever I want to and it will be added right here. I can simply click on the select image button and select the image that I have there and it will be added here. Now I can edit this section changing the length and width. Here is what I am going to do and you can see the size will be changed similarly. I can change the background, I can apply different settings once you are done. You simply click on finished, after that you, I can again add my socials. So I can drag it and drop it where I want my socials and then these will be added. In this email I will add Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and Instagram. So if I want to add another one, I simply click on the icon and select the network. But we do not have YouTube here, so just click on YouTube and add the URL to your channel. And it will be added right here. And when people receive this email, they will be able to see all of your social media accounts. 
simply click on the socials and again click on edit you can also add videos and dividers the dividers really help us to organize our emails um this is how you can design your emails and it looks very professional here you can add pictures and videos you can add different content to your email right here we can also change the design we can change the template we can change the buttons that we have added to your email right here once you are done with editing you can move on to settings so in settings you will find the subject line for now i'm just going to write some welcome emails then we have a preview text we can select the language and we can also select a subscription type so these are the different settings we can make next up we will add our recipients sent to in here you will be able to select all the different contacts you have added to your account i will simply select the contacts i want to send this to so you can choose for me to send this to or you can choose a list if you have created one and you can view it here i can import a list of contacts from my spreadsheet from any of the different platforms and it will be more convenient for me to add it here it is not necessary to go ahead and add different subscribers or different email addresses individually this also means we do not send two options at the same time for example you may have people on your list who do not wish to send the email to or maybe you have you may have listed to whom you do not wish to send the email now that we have selected the recipients you can see that we can send this email to 2000 people so we can send it now or schedule it for later if you want to schedule it for later just select the time and date so for now i'm just going to click on schedule it for later and just let's add a time and date okay we can get a preview and we can also save this one right here and you will see the emails that you have created when you return to your main dashboard now all you have to do is click on send test email because this is our email name and it will be sent to these emails that we have included so here is the email we just created i can edit it clone it or export it to any other platform to create a brand new one i can click on create email and use these emails as templates so this is how easy it was to so this is how easy it was to create email marketing with hubspot and i hope that you liked the video and you learned a lot from it so that concludes the video i hope it was very helpful to you and now we can you know how to create email marketing campaigns with hubspot.com so thank you and if you have any questions feel free to leave them below in the comment section and i will try to answer all of them as soon as possible and see you in the next video